going on traders welcome to the channel i'm john that's groot we trade options here all right let's dive right in we're gonna set up on thinkorswim how to create a custom scan for the golden cross and the golden crossover is very interesting it's a 50-day moving average crossing the 200 so if it crosses up that is bullish if it does cross down past the 200-day moving average that is bearish so let's just dive in i'll show you how to use this right now on thinkorswim you're under the chart section if you actually just go over here it will go to scan and as i click scan I'll just do that again from charts to scan here. You can set up something called options or stock hacker. Right now I'm in stock hacker. And the very first thing you'll want to do in this setup is add filter. So over here on the right, I'm going to add a filter. There's a lot of things we can do, but the biggest thing we want to look at is study. So as I click study, you're going to deal with crossovers and that's the biggest one we want to look at. So as I click this again, you'll come over crossover and you'll see the moving average crossover here. Right when you click that, you can now set up the periods for the simple moving averages you want. So 50 is the first one, and when it crosses above the 200, we are interested in that. And then the next thing you can do is set up the time frame. So is that on the daily chart, the hourly chart, you know, anything like that, monthly, weekly, whatever. Uh, let's go daily. That's kind of the easiest, simplest way to utilize this. And then as you hit scan right here, it will now return a certain set of stocks for you. A few things I already noticed off the bat. I don't like these like 60 cent or two cent stocks. I'm not very interested in that. So we can filter that out. If you just go back to add filter again up in the upper section, I'm going to click on stock and then I'm actually going to change the ask or bid size, whichever. Uh, let's just make it ask. Why not? And I'll just make this $5. And as I do that, we will now see this get rid of some of those stocks. We'll see a return of less of them. And now I don't have any more stocks that are trading at, you know, five or six dollars. If you're someone who likes volume, you want more volume. You can see right here this NH. And KY only traded about 795. I don't like that. So I'll set up at least another volume filter. You go up here, stock, and then we hit on the volume. So I just go here, click V, and that's going to bring up this. And I'll say, let's just say 100,000. And if we make 100,000, this will slightly drop our filter even more. And this would be a good set of stocks to go off of. So as an example, we've got H ban. I'll just click on that here. We'll go to H B A N. And you can already see there, we ran into a situation where we had a, a golden cross lower, but then it looks like we now have a golden cross to the upside. So this is a very valid signal, looks good. Who knows if it's bullish or bearish, everyone can use their own judgment there, but this is a great way to scan for stocks that are looking to build on momentum here. Now I'll go back and you can actually save this if you go here to on the, it's next to add filter, just, Oh, it's above it. So I know this is kind of hard. There's a few of these. So it says add filter, go up one and to the right, there's the three bars. It's like the menu bars. You can save your scan query. And, and by doing that, we are saved. And now anytime you're in here, you can do a couple things. You can click on your scan and this would be like a personal scan and you'll see right there golden crossover bullish. Or if I go over to my charts and I pull this open, you'll now see a watch list of personal scans. And right when I do that, these will pop up and I can just literally click on the stocks if they are set. So looking pretty good. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next trade.